Hey, how's it going? This is still Jeremy and welcome to another vlog from sunny Osaka, Japan. This time, today, we are going to, yet again, hold on. I say yet again, we are going to Osaka Castle. This time, it's because it is a gloriously sunny and warm day here. It's in the mid 60s Fahrenheit, which is pretty much unheard of for February, but that's how it is here today and yesterday. So my prediction, it's also Sunday. So my prediction is that there's going to be a lot of people at Osaka Castle Park. So that's what we're gonna go check out to see if I'm right. And also to catch up because it's been a while since I did a vlog, a long while. So we're sort of behind the castle now. We're gonna curl around behind the castle park and go out to the uh, uh, west side of the castle and enter through the gate there and then go check out the main kind of park area to see if there are lots of people there out and enjoying themselves, perhaps with masks, perhaps not. On a day like today, when it's bright and sunny and the wind is blowing, even I who I am very, very particular about COVID safety and stuff. Social distancing, I don't ever go out that much. Always wear a mask. Even today, I have my mask in my pocket because I'm not gonna be around people, right? This cart up here is selling like uh, baked potatoes. As a type one diabetic, I don't eat a lot of potatoes. I try not to. But baked potatoes are kind of a snack thing here in Japan. So we got some catching up to do. It's been a long time since I just biked around and just spoke without any having, without having any real uh, goal, like finding Christmas lights or whatever. So here's what's going on. It's February today, it's late February. Um, my full-time job, the classes, the English classes ended in December, late December. So for about two and a half months, I am unemployed. I don't have to do any classes and I'm not getting any money. Hold on, I gotta cut through this street here. So when the classes ended, I thought, wow, I've got two and a half months of free time, 24 hours a day, I can do whatever I want. It's gonna be YouTube central. I'm just gonna, such a good, uh, hang on a second. So I wrote this big to-do list, what to do. I'm gonna have like a, a great publishing schedule and I'm gonna come up with all these cool ideas for videos, even more than all the ones I already have. I'm gonna go do those videos and uh, edit them together. It's gonna be great. And then something more exciting happened and none of that happened. So I haven't made hardly any videos in the last couple months. It's been a shock to me, but what I've got going is even better. And it's still related to YouTube. So we're in part of the park. We're not in the main park part yet, but already I see lots of people out here enjoying the heat. I may actually pull over and roll my sleeves up. I've got two undershirts and this long sleeve flannel shirt on. I don't think I need all this stuff. It's fairly warm. So here's the story. Here's what's coming on my YouTube channel. I hope sometime, somehow, at some point in the near future. So about three years ago, I took a um, three month car trip around America, 90 days uh, to visit national parks. And it was lots and lots of fun. I saw lots and lots of great stuff and uh, took lots of photos. Not so much video because I had a dash cam in the car. And every night when we got to a hotel room or a campsite or whatever, I would spend two or three hours saving all of the dash cam footage from the car from that day's driving over to a four terabyte external hard drive. Sorry, I'm a little winded. I haven't been out much lately and I'll tell you why that is in a second. So when I got back home here to Japan after the trip, I wanted to make a series of YouTube videos about the trip because it's a lot of good stuff, you know? 
And I didn't do it right away because I was kind of exhausted from the trip. Didn't want to dive right back into it. So I was teaching English classes and kind of getting my life back in order here in Japan. So after a few months, I went back to the uh, footage of the dash cam and the hard drive, the external hard drive had been corrupted and it failed. I don't know why. But all the footage was lost. All of it was lost. The saguaro cactuses in Arizona and the snowy mountains in Colorado and all these amazing things in Oregon and California. All that was lost. And I just, I was so dejected. I just didn't have the heart to do anything about it. So I never made any videos about that trip. And it's been this like big white whale in my life ever since. So, a few weeks ago, I thought, well, what can I do? What can I piece together from what I have and the still images I have? I'll just put a bunch of still images and I'll narrate something, I'll write something and I'll narrate that. Won't have much dash cam footage to demonstrate the driving part of the trip, which was the fun part for me, but we'll see what I can do. And in the course of that, I plugged in the original failed hard drive and I uh, found a program that did data recovery. I said, well, last shot, might as well try it. What, what can this program do? And lo and behold, it started recovering a lot of the data. Uh, it was very slow. It would take, I had my computer running day and night doing this, recovering all these files. And that took about three weeks, almost 24 hours a day of my computer running and getting all this data back. But in the end, I got about 70, 75% of it all back. And I was amazed. I was thinking of making a daily video for, you know, for each day of the trip, 90 videos, whatever happened that day, make a video about it to give the, uh, to kind of bring viewers along on the trip too. So if I do it right, if I do it well, if I take my time on it and do it right, I will be able to, when you watch the videos, you'll be able to feel like you're on the trip too. And it'd be very exciting, just like the real trip was. But it takes time, because there's a lot of footage and a lot of photos to sift through and have to figure out what to include and what to not include, because it's boring or whatever. So, I will be working on that. Wow. Lots of people are here, as I said. They all have masks on. Maybe I should put a mask on, just just to uh, fit in, you know? You gotta fit in when you're in Japan. Can you hear me? Okay. Ooh, this is great. This is a great day. People got heavy coats on, I don't know why. They don't need them. Uh, but before I started that, I wanted to do another Amtrak video. And uh, I chose the Amtrak route Sunset Limited which uh, runs between Los Angeles and New Orleans. And I love making this video because there's a lot of research about every single stop on that route, there's 22 stations, and I did all this research and uh, what's interesting about each station and stuff. And I didn't realize it was gonna be like this, but that video took about eight or nine, 16, 18 hour days in a row, not 18 hours, maybe 14 or 16 hour days of working on this video to do all the research, write the script, do all the editing in a brand new video editor that I'd never used before called DaVinci Resolve, um, which I'm using for this video too. So I hope this video has some better transitions and motion and stuff. But anyway, this is the part, by the way, that I thought would have the most people in it. But uh, maybe not. Later, we'll go on up to the actual castle. We'll see what's up there. I bet there's a lot of people there. <laughs> Not everybody's pleased to be here today. Okay, something else, some other news from me is back in December, I got a new iPhone. iPhone 12 Pro, that's what it is. iPhone 12 Pro with the three cameras so I can take better video, better B-roll for these sorts of movies, which is uh, a lot of fun, but I have to tell you about the last video I did, which was when I went to Taishi down in South Osaka. 
That was supposed to be a pretty good uh, vlog about walking around town. That was the point of that video. Here's what happened. If you, if you saw that video, you might think, well, that was kind of an odd video. It's kind of hard to tell what was going on. I really enjoyed it. I liked, I'll tell you why I liked it. Um, so I went down to this station called Taishi and I took my 360 degree camera, which I'm recording this with, and my iPhone and my mic. Clip on mic. So I'm going to get, get through these people. Hang on a second. So I went down the Taishi and I was walking around with my 360 camera on a selfie stick and I was talking and I was explaining what I was doing and I was explaining the, the history of the town and everything. And every now and then I would take out my iPhone and do a little B-roll type, type video, just, you know, whatever, houses and the scenery and things like that. But all the video from my 360 camera was blown out solid white, way too bright. So, I had had it set like that for the Christmas lights video that I did a few weeks ago because that was shot at night. So I had the camera on like wide open light, you know, and it didn't used to remember my, when you turn the camera off, it used to forget the settings. Suddenly it started remembering the settings. So it remembered those from when I went down to Taishi and uh, so all that video was unusable. But I still had the B-roll from the iPhone because that looked good. And I still had the audio from my microphone. God, look at all these people. This is amazing. Oh, it's because of the, uh, there's a plum garden over here, which is in one of my early, early vlogs. And it's blooming now. But I decided to use just the B-roll I had and the audio I had. The, the narration audio I, was, I made as I was hiking around town. So I made that video. So anyway, that's what happened. That's why this video is uh, the first real vlog in a while. Okay, this is cool. I'm gonna get off the bicycle here and walk around here or something. All right, I'm gonna avoid the crowds and head out for now. But this is a great day. We get to a good place where I feel comfortable for talking loud and I'll end this video there. Where will that be? going on over here? Somebody has brought their owls. Oh, other birds too. Okay, I'm branching off here. Too many people over there. I can't do it. Let's end the video here. Thank you very much for watching this uh, kind of aimless but very, very enjoyable vlog. Um, please keep watching my channel if you are into American road trips at all. I, now that I've said it publicly that those are coming, I have to do them. And I have to do them quickly. I mean, I'm going to definitely do them, but anyway, uh, don't, don't get me started on that. I'm look very, very, very looking forward to that project, which will probably take me all year to, to complete. But there's more Amtrak videos coming too. There are more road trip videos from America coming. There are more Japanese vlogs coming. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, please stay safe. The coronavirus is not over yet. Please subscribe if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it because I don't know if you liked it or not. And of course, leave a comment and I'll see you next time.